How's it going? So this is how to do it. You see, so change the color. So when you do style not SX, it works. You see, so if we put this as true and remove this, it will be yellow. Where is my thing? Yeah, you see, so it's yellow. Okay, so now all we have to do, and now select has on open and on close. So this will tell you uh, when you open the drop down, whatever, right? So you just change the state, and then that's about it. So you set up a state, uh, you put it in here, and then when you open, you change the state to true, and when you close, you change the state to false. And then that's it. And then it will do your thing, you see. Now, there are a bunch of other ways to do it, but I mean, I don't want to rewrite the whole theme palette, add mambo jumbo. I mean, it's like you have to style overrides, you have to put root, then you have to put input. Another one is, um, let me just uncomment this code. Now, there's another way to do it. I think it's through... I was unable to do it this way. Input props. And then you can do SX in here. The problem is I couldn't get focus to work this way. I don't know what the hell it was, but... The, you see, the problem is... When the drop-down happens, uh, the input loses focus. And that's that's the problem. But like in here, you can do you can do stuff like background, color, I don't know, yellow. Did I spell input props correct? One second. Oh, it has to be lowercase. My apologies. In here, okay. I think you can do something like this as well. You see? So we can do exactly the same thing in here, which is... Um, I tried stuff like on click, I tried a lot of mumbo jumbo, right? Then we can do... we can literally copy this stuff here. Oh god. But you get the idea, right? So if this component is true... Well, how, how do you want to do it? Well, look, if selected is true... Yellow, else, I don't know, whatever was the default color. Like gray. I, I don't know what the default color is, right? So, again, it's gonna be exactly the same shade. We can do it this way, you see? So we're controlling the... You see? So now it's doing on close. Actually, there is no even need to have on close, honestly. Now that I think about it. Because the only time when we need it Oh, no, you have to reset the... Let me just think one sec. No, you need, you need this code. You need them close. Otherwise, it's just, it's not gonna work. Because you have to somehow shut down the... background color, right? So, I mean, honestly, the best way to do it is just like the, the, the first time I showed you. That is the best way to do it. Because I tried a lot of different mambo jumbo, like, code is like 20 lines to change a bloody background color. Like, it just drives me mad sometimes. You know, people come up with those... Like, I might, like, if I were to go that way, I might as well just 
rewrite the whole freaking component myself. If I'm gonna go down that route, you know? So this is like the simplest way to do it. Right, so boom, done. That's it. Take care, bye-bye.